All right, folks, tail of the tape here between these two ladies. You can see just how even uh, it is, but I believe that the number of fights is referring to uh, Puedete's uh, kickboxing record and not her MMA record. Ladies and gentlemen, KOK Classic 6, we are live on Fightbox. KOK Super Fight, Blue Corner, fight representing Poland, Ilona Wojda. Well, Wojda has fought here before in King of Kings, but not for a while. She had a, a very impressive performance in Riga, Latvia in November of 2019. And she's been announced as fighting on a KOK card. I, I can't even count how many times, but really a lot. And it seems like they either cannot find her a suitable opponent or her opponent pulls out or she gets injured or she, she gets sick. There's been a million different reasons. But finally, they've managed to uh, get her an opponent. And so she has a second chance uh, after about a year and a half, almost, uh, to step back inside Ilona the KOK ring. Voida, Poland. Ladies and gentlemen, red corner from Lithuania, Evelina Puidaite. And if you do look at these two ladies' records, they're very, very similar. Uh, but Puedate, at 20 years old, uh, as she's uh, more of an MMA fighter, to be honest. Uh, I, I think in order to find Voida an, an opponent, they really had to dig, dip, uh, dig deep and do some, uh, do some begging and pleading to get her in here, because Puedate is not a kickboxer by trade. She's she is, but she's more of a of an MMA fighter. I think that's the uh, sport that she prefers. Nevertheless, uh, she will step in here against kickboxing boxing rules against Ilona Voida. Uh, honestly, uh, Puedata has lost five, uh, all five of her last MMA bouts. So maybe it is time for a change. Maybe it is time to mix things up, shake things up a bit. Uh, Puedata has fought in Voida's home country of Poland before, and now Voida returning the favor. Evelina Puidaite, Lithuania. Ladies and gentlemen, Fadi out of the blue corner, 20 years old, official height of 169 centimeter, official weight 61 kilogram. His professional record, one win, lost one fight. Amateur K1 European Champion, two times Polish Muay Thai Champion, representing Garuda Muay Thai Gym, Poland, Ilona Wojta. <laughs> Fighting out of the red corner, 22 years old, official height 169 centimeter, official weight 59 kilogram, professional record, one win, lost one fight. European K1 champion, Baltic Muay Thai vice champion, representing also Jim Lithuania, Evelina Puidaite. <laughs> Ring referee Rafael Spashayabas, KOK rules, three rounds, two minutes each. Underway, our only ladies contest of the evening here at the KOK Classic 6. When they do get close, it does look like uh, Voida is just the bigger, stronger fighter of the two. They both made weight, uh, but it, it does seem like maybe Voida is naturally just. Um, a bigger fighter than Puidate. 
Oh man, what a right hand that was. A straight right, straight down the middle. I don't know whether any other direction a straight right could go, but it did. Caught her with a little left as well. There's that right hand again. And again, these are just uh, three rounds of two minutes as most of the uh, fights on the opening card are. But once we get to the main card, uh, we will see the full time limits for all fights, I believe. It wasn't too long ago as well that Voida fought in Poland for a international Muay Thai uh, championship as well. She came up a little bit short on that one, but she can do it all. She can fight kickboxing. Uh, I think Muay Thai is probably actually her uh, favorite sport. And you can see those left hands going in. <laughs> look at that dirty look that she just gave Puadate after that. End of round one. Look at that, that was about the hardest punch of the of the fight right there. And it seems like that, she was planning that. That seems like something she had up her sleeve that she wanted to unleash here uh, during this fight, and she certainly did. Fighters. Second round. All right, folks, back to business, round number two. Remember, they do not have a whole lot of time to work with here. Just three rounds of two minutes. So if you are going to win this fight, you need to make a statement and do it within the time limit. Also keep in mind uh, that Evelina Pudata in the red uh, is mainly an MMA fighter. So. Why they are wearing uh, shin guards, I, I, I don't know. I haven't figured that one out yet either. Because uh, as far as I understand, this should be a, a professional fight. And it, maybe it's not. I know that I have seen uh, Voida here on a few different occasions when she was scheduled to have a fight, but then it was pulled out the last minute or somebody got injured or hurt or whatever. So she's got to have, like, all this pent-up, you know, <laughs> aggression, all this, you know, got to be ready to fight. She's had it teased so many times. Oh, and that was a good right hand. Here she comes. Boy, Piodata is really going after her here. Final seconds here, and that's it. They won't be able to engage once more before the bell. And we have one more round of action left to come here at 60 kilos for the ladies. Take a look. Uh, I, I felt that round number one was much better uh, for Voida, I found round number two, maybe Pudate could have taken that one. So it means that 
here in round number three, perhaps. Uh, this one is for all the marbles. Here we go, third and final round is underway here. One more chance for these ladies to get the attention of the judges and go home with the victory because I'm telling you, when it's three rounds of two minutes, you saw it earlier tonight, you know, in the last fight, the judges do tend to come to the decision, if it's close, that it's a draw. It's just the way it is. I, I, I don't know if I caught them, I don't think they did, uh, read the scores out. And that's the second time now uh, that Puedate has been kind of peppering her in the side of the head or in the back of the head. And it's really getting under, under the skin of Voida. She can't afford uh, to let that happen. She just gotta, you know, let the referee do his job and do your job, and that's just to fight. There's no sense playing, you know, she did that. Uh, with with the judge because he's going to do whatever he wants to do anyway whether you say something about it. Coming up on 40 seconds here left in the contest now. Not a whole lot of good, clean, solid, uncontested shots going in. It's a tough fight here. We're just sneaking in on her here. Final seconds now. Oh! Popped her good with the right hand that time. Snapped her ponytails way back. And a punch right on the bell by Puadata, and that's how this one will end, ladies and gentlemen. Take a look at highlights from round number three now. Uh, it was, it, that was, I, th I, th I think, maybe one of the hardest rounds, if not the hardest ones. Like, nothing uh, really landing good and clean and solid. It was just like being deflected, hitting somebody in the arms and the back of the head, all over the place. Uh, and now we wait for the final results. Judge is still deliberating over there. Ladies and gentlemen, KOK Classic 6 live on Firebox. KOK Super Fight. After three rounds by split decision, winner is. Red Corner, Evelina Puidaite, Lithuania. Well, Puidaite wins by split decision. I told you it was close. And uh, that's just the way it went this time. Congratulations to her. I'm sure Ilona Voida will be back as well. And ladies and gentlemen, we continue.
with the KOK Classic 6 right after this break.